what's happening everyone welcome to our youtube channel don't forget to check out our website infixitonline.com once you're there you can click on this tutorial request link fill out the form here give us all the information about the software title that you want to learn more about or the hardware task whether it's learning a new application installing a new hard drive or hooking up your home network diagnosing the virus whatever the problem is you can fill out this form and get back to us and we'll help you out as best we can or you can send us a message on YouTube and we'll get back to you also but going to our website is the fastest way to get a response from us alright so now that we took care of that let's get into this current tutorial or how to video in this tutorial we're going to show you how to change your key on a MacBook Pro keyboard you see I have a loose key right here you can actually go to uh, places like eBay you have people on eBay that sell loose keys and um, the real price with shipping is probably going to cost you about maybe between three and five dollars depending on who you're dealing with and uh, some food for thought actually uh, a lot of you may know already but if you have an old uh, power book aluminum version sitting around they actually take the same keys as the MacBook Pro so you can save yourself some time and money on that also alright alright as you can see on this key I have here on this MacBook Pro the key is the A key is all faded out so that's something we want to change alright so what you do is have something like a something like a flathead screwdriver or a small point which ain't bad in the top right corner of the key I'm facing the, the laptop so the top right corner of the key you get something in there and you slip it up you just want to pop it up that corner clip there alright okay see I got it up that top then what you could do is just pry up the rest that's the old key literally a 30 second process just take your time because these clips on the back of these keys they could get very sensitive basically caps alright but you have pretty much have three parts to a key you got the cap you got the rubber bushing and then you have the clip and the clip is pretty much the same thing also All right? you just pull up that corner and the whole clip will come up alright it could get real time because someone messing with those clips so just be careful you don't want to pull them out the socket that turn a 30 second job into at least a good 10 minutes All right now as far as putting your key back what you want to do is pretty much line the key up you lay it in place and you line the bottom and the top up with the key on the left to the right and also the top and the bottom and you just press in just as you heard that just snapped in and that's it your key is in and it's good welcome to another tutorial from infixitonline.com don't forget to check out the website we're gonna make some big changes to the website you'll see that coming on the YouTube channel youtube.com slash infixitonline or you can follow us on Twitter infixitonline and also on Facebook infixitonline and even Google Buzz now alright find infixitonline on Google Buzz alright so thanks for visiting another tutorial from infixitonline.com don't forget to come back peace